Terraform and Ansible are both popular tools in the realm of DevOps and infrastructure automation, but they serve different purposes and have distinct approaches to achieving automation goals. Here's a comparison between Terraform and Ansible. Let's start with Terraform. 1. What is the purpose of Terraform? Terraform is primarily an infrastructure as code, IAC tool, that focuses on creating, managing, and provisioning infrastructure resources. It is designed for defining and deploying infrastructure in a declarative manner. 2. Which language Terraform uses? Terraform uses its own domain-specific language, DSL, called HashiCorp Configuration Language, HCL, for defining infrastructure code. HCL is human-readable and easy to learn. 3. Which declarative syntax Terraform uses? Terraform uses a declarative syntax, meaning you define the desired state of your infrastructure, and Terraform handles the execution to bring the actual infrastructure to that desired state. 4. Which resource providers are included in Terraform? Terraform supports a wide range of cloud providers, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, etc., and other infrastructure platforms. Each provider has its set of resource types that can be managed using Terraform. 5. How does Terraform keep its state management? Terraform keeps track of the current state of the infrastructure in a state file. This file is used to plan and apply changes, ensuring that Terraform knows the current state of the infrastructure. 6. What is the execution plan in Terraform? Before making any changes to the infrastructure, Terraform generates an execution plan that shows what actions it will take to achieve the desired state. This allows users to review changes before applying them. Now, let's talk a little bit about Ansible. 1. What is the purpose of Ansible? Ansible is an open-source automation tool that focuses on configuration management, application deployment, and task automation. It uses a push-based model to apply configurations to target systems. 2. Which language Ansible uses? Ansible uses YAML, yet another markup language, for defining playbooks. YAML is human-readable and easy to understand, making it accessible for a wide range of users. 3. What is the syntax of Ansible? Ansible uses an imperative syntax, where you define the steps or tasks that need to be executed to achieve a desired state. Ansible takes care of the execution of these tasks on target machines. 4. What is agentless architecture in Ansible? Ansible operates in an agentless manner, meaning it doesn't require agents to be installed on target machines. It communicates with remote systems using SSH or other transport protocols. 5. What are Ansible playbooks? Ansible playbooks are idempotent, which means running the same playbook multiple times won't result in different outcomes. If the system is already in the desired state, Ansible won't make unnecessary changes. 6. What are modules in Ansible? Ansible provides a wide range of modules that cover various tasks, such as package management, user management, and file operations. These modules can be used in playbooks to define tasks. So how can we choose between Terraform and Ansible? You can use Terraform when you want to focus on provisioning and managing infrastructure resources. Declarative syntax and planning before execution are important. You need to manage infrastructure across multiple cloud providers or platforms. You can use Ansible when you want to automate configuration management, application deployment, and task automation. If you prefer a simple and human-readable YAML syntax, and of course, agentless architecture is a priority. Can I combine Terraform and Ansible? Combining Terraform and Ansible is common in many setups. Terraform can be used for provisioning infrastructure, and Ansible can be used for configuring and managing the deployed infrastructure. In many real-world scenarios, organizations use a combination of Terraform and Ansible to address both infrastructure provisioning and configuration management needs. The choice between them often depends on the specific requirements and preferences of the organization or project.